one knows what makes us happy. Do you know what makes me really, really happy? I like looking after my nephew. He's three. A lot of fun hanging out with a three-year-old, because you can teach him things, and no one knows you did the teaching. <laughs> Here is my gift from me to you. I taught my nephew to say this. Yes. <laughs> You'd like that, wouldn't you? <laughs> it makes anything creepy. That is the beauty. <laughs> Couldn't have worked better. My sister came home. She's like, "Where's Mum's bath? Do you want a bath?" Yeah, you'd like that, wouldn't you? <laughs> what have you done to my baby? <laughs> I've made him better. Look at him. <laughs> my brother taught him shadow blinds. Oh my god! The day we had, we were in the park, and this going, "Oh my god, he's so cute." Are you a light switch? Cause you're turning me on. <laughs> Stop! Yeah, you'd like that, wouldn't you? <laughs> People are wonderful. They sometimes drift into your life and cheer you up. I was in an elevator in New York and two women started laughing proper deep here, here, here. I started laughing just because they were laughing. <laughs> I said, what are we giggling at? This woman looked at me and went, sugar? Has anyone ever told you you look like Ellen? And so, oh my God. Here, here, you. You've never heard laughter like this. Here, here. I looked at myself and said, fucking hell, I look like Ellen. <laughs> that wasn't even the weirdest thing. One of them started squeezing her friend's breasts. <laughs> 50 years old, honking each other. I've never got more instantly English in my life. I genuinely said out loud, what's going on here? <laughs> it was like a monocle fell down and I toppled off a pony. <laughs> Listen to her answer, still squeezing her friend's breast, she just went, it's her birthday. What a world! <laughs> no man has got that excuse. Imagine that, mate, you're down the pub just taking your mates, but because it's his birthday is why. <laughs> Tickle Dave Spuds, for he's a jolly good fella. I quite like to be a lady, you know? When I was a kid, me and my brother used to play a game called Lady Wrestling. We stopped when we were seven, because Dad said, and I quote, you're going to jail. <laughs> do you know what we used to do? We used to tuck our willies between our legs and have a fight. That was it. <laughs> was the first person who was tickled enough that their willy fell out. <laughs> and they no longer resembled a woman. I can still see my dad's confused face just... What's that bloody noise? I'll do with it, darling. You're fucking hell! <laughs> Morning! <laughs> get your dick out of your ass and get ready for school! Yeah, you'd like that, wouldn't you? <laughs> I'd like to be a lady, it's the kindness the women show when you're drunk, you're lovely to each other. I was on a tube recently, so a load of girls are all a bit pissed. One of the girls got stuck in the tube door. None of her friends laughed, none of them. <laughs> Sarah. <laughs> they rescued her, started stroking her hair. I was scared, girls, I was scared. <laughs> that was a man, he'd still be on the fucking underground. <laughs> yeah, seriously, it's moving now. Facebook, you fat fuck. <laughs> You're gonna die! Tickle his balls! Tickle his balls! That's what happens, isn't it? If one of your friends passes out, you don't look after him. Your weirdest mate will go up to him, get his balls out, pop them on his head <laughs> or in his mouth. Do you ring the police? No, you take picture after picture. No woman has that story. That's why you're better than us. You've never made that call. Gotta go, Steve. The usual's happening. Sarah's out cold and Linda's rubbing her fanny on her face. <laughs> I gotta Snapchat this. Get a good one, Miriam. Get a good one. <laughs> Hashtag muffling. <laughs> exactly. Muffling. I've just invented a word for a thing that will never happen. It's vital to laugh. Vital to laugh for yourself. I've got a lazy eye. I know I look silly. 
people often point that out. A woman came up to me recently, excuse me, when you come, do your eyes look normal? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, I've never masturbated in front of a mirror. <laughs> Imagine that with my girlfriend, look at my eyes. Am I a real boy? Am I a real boy? <laughs> It's good to laugh ourselves, isn't it? I had a brilliant one recently, right? I was waiting for a train in Bristol, and because I'm on the TV all the time, people were coming up to me and they were taking pictures, but they weren't asking. It was weird, I'm stood there. Five different people, and, hey, look, there you go. <laughs> Them. I stood there, I didn't know what to do, I was so embarrassed. Two little kids even went, oh yeah, let's get him as well. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so ashamed of what I said, this is the truth. I looked and went, hey, stop taking pictures of me. Come and have a chat. <laughs> I obviously set myself to dickhead, this is what I said. I may be famous, but I'm still a person. <laughs> <laughs> But this is where life is wonderful, because this bloke looked at me and went, mate, you're stood next to a Pokemon. <laughs> and he went, oh. <laughs> Fuck! You have, you have to take things on the chin. It's vital to laugh, isn't it? And you never know when laughter's gonna drift into your life. Like, I feel America's pain. When Trump was elected, my granddad died the same day that Trump was elected. It was like he was stood there going, I ain't living through that shit. <laughs> night, night, everyone. <laughs> this is the truth. When I found out my granddad had died, and he meant everything to me, I was on holiday in Mexico, my mum rang me up. She started crying, she said, Russell, your granddad's dead. And I started weeping with her, and yet, at the exact moment that I found out that he was dead, there was a Mexican man who was five metres away from me who just went... Ba -da 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 -da. <laughs> I started laughing, I couldn't help it. It was like the soul of my granddad was looking down, oh, Russell looks a little bit upset. Beauty man, do the dance. <laughs> and the funeral was even better. I've never laughed, I was so beautiful. My dad did a eulogy, every word my dad said. Words became memories. They flew from his mouth, they soared into our heart, they made us cry happy tears. Could it get better? Yes, it could, my friends, because my nan started heckling. <laughs> Nothing prepares you for a moment like that. And she made me laugh at a funeral before. She was a funny, funny lady, my nan. We buried a dog, right? It was our dog. <laughs> <laughs> we buried the family dog, and my mum went, who would like to say goodbye? And my nan went, oh, oh! <laughs> <laughs> you know that feeling when you're not allowed to laugh? <laughs> the head says no, the belly says yes. <laughs> I went to a humanist wedding last year. I am not a bad guy. My friend got married. She walked down the aisle to the theme tune from Jurassic Park. <laughs> My brother had a glass of water next to me and went, 